Um, poetry is concise. It's to the point. It's rhythmic. It's fun. Um, it's the language that I learned that all of us really learn how to communicate, how to speak and, and, and listen. The, the rhyming, the, the, the Dr. Seuss, the Fox and Socks, the lullabies our mothers sing us. You know, that's all the rhythm and the rhyme. So on a general level, that's why poetry. Um, my parents sort of introduced me to poets and poetry from a very early age. And so I like to think that I didn't necessarily find poetry. Like it found me and I didn't have a choice. I had to sort of answer that call. I spent a lot of time in libraries, like most people have growing up, um, studying, learning, reading. Um, the most significant thing that libraries have done in my life, um, have, they've given me the opportunity to, whether it be Loudoun County Public Library or Charleston uh, County Public Library or um, Fairfax County Public Library, they've given me the opportunity to come in and, and share what I do with young people, with, with families, and to really be able to reach the audiences that I write for. And, and that's, that's important. Um, the biggest thing the libraries, libraries and librarians have done for me is, I mean, I won the Newberry. So, you know, that changed my life. And so I am forever in debt, you know, to, uh, to that, uh, that sanctified group of uh, people who ensure that our children can sort of imagine a world of possible for themselves. Kids do as we do, not as we say. And so I think parents, teachers, librarians, we got a model for them. You know, the poets that, that, that resonate with us, that we connect with. Show them, you know, the beauty and the magic of poetry. Don't be afraid of it. Don't, you know, be fearful of it. Because if we are, they will be. So I think the biggest thing is we got to bring it into the classroom, into the library, into the home. My kid and I, we write haiku at home. And she just, she enjoys it a lot. So I think those are some of the things we can do. I visited 177 schools last year and libraries um, because I believe that the writing is, is, is powerful, it's important, and as if not more important is to get out and be able to interact with the students, with the young people that you're writing about. If you want to live an authentic life, if you want to write an authentic life, you've got to sort of be out in the world and, and be a participant in it. So um, I, I like to call myself the, the ambassador to literacy, you know. It's not, I haven't been appointed by anyone or selected. That's just, you know, that's my title for myself because I believe it's important to spread the gospel of, of poetry and language and literature and how it can transform our lives. And libraries and librarians have allowed me a space to do that.